Swansea St. Thomas test route, including Fabian Way, dual carriageway, leaving and joining. <coughs> edge to keep us in the centre of Lynn. forward observations as we came off the roundabout to see the colour of the lights and evaluating what we needed to do within car control. As we came around the corner as well we'd have been looking for all the new road signs and information that were there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're making sure that we're observing and keeping an eye on everything around us. I can already see the traffic lights are starting to change in the opposite direction. Mirrors, signal is on, following the curb around. Pick up the new repeater, start to accelerate gradually and going through the gears accordingly. You can see there's a height restriction ahead which doesn't affect us. Bend in the road, look at the vanishing point to see how far ahead you can see. Get the car up to about 36, 37, 38 mile an hour. We can see the signs checking the mirrors. <coughs> Start easing off the gas. By the time we get here, the car's already doing 30 mile an hour. If the car's struggling, potentially change to a lower gear. <coughs> so we're looking as far ahead as we can now while also looking and noticing things that are a little bit closer. So we're constantly planning and re-evaluating keeping an eye in our rear view mirror as well to see what's going on behind us. <coughs> Quick glance at the sat nav every now and again, re-evaluating the information that's presented to us. You can see the traffic lights now. We can see they've all turned red, cars coming across us. So about this stage I'd start easing off the gas, potentially thinking about timing them but I don't think we're going to be able to time them at this stage so we're pressing the brake anywhere from about two to three car lengths on we dip the clutch and we come to a controlled stop make the car safe <coughs> excuse me as you can see tires and tarmac from the vehicle in front as well continue our observations get the car ready control of the clutch after about three seconds, release it totally, and we continue through the gears, making sure that the cars ahead have moved away and we can see that the crossing is clear for us to go through. We don't want to be stuck in the middle of that crossing and blocking other road users. That's regardless whether there's a box section or not. We need to be able to vacate the box, be able to get through the traffic light system. So we're looking ahead now, we can see the lights are green, we can see all the signs at the side of the road. We're starting to gather information. Quick look at the sat nav, it's telling us to continue straight through the lights. Reinforce it with the road sign. It's been green a while now, we can see the traffic starting to slow down, checking our mirrors. We're trying to decide now whether we can get through the box or not. After yes we can, we look far enough left. ahead, we can see the traffic is going ahead and the box is becoming free. So we're able to go over the line and we're able to vacate the box section. Brake lights are coming on, check our mirrors. 
touch in, try to time it now so that we don't stop. So we're rolling now slowly, just on the clutch, we've moved into first gear. And by spotting things soon enough, we're able to plan and act accordingly. Quick look at the sat nav, is telling us to continue around the bend. So we've got a lorry beside us now, we can hear it then. Again, looking far enough ahead, the lights are green, it's staying green, the traffic After has moved through the box, left, through the box, in place. the middle of the traffic lights. So we continue, we start to think about braking, we can see the brake lights on in front of us. We start braking and dip the clutch and we're rolling now. We haven't changed the gear yet, just in case things alter. And as we come to a stop, we go to first because the lights have just turned green ahead as you can see. So we come up to the bike, a little bit of gas, leave the gap build, check the mirrors and off we go. <coughs> again we leave the gap build, we can again move through the lights. Then we look at the sat nav and we can see that it's turning us just in front of the museum. So we start to use our mirrors and indicators. Start to slow the vehicle down, we can see it's a tight bend. So we go into first gear for control. Come off the pedals, we go round really slow, nice and controlled. We can see now into the road that the car's sticking out. We've got an unmarked junction, so we're going to be turning right and then immediately left. So we have to act as if this is a marked junction. So we kind of imagine where the line is. We do our mirrors and signal. We get to where we think the line is. We start looking left and right to make sure that it's clear to go. As you can see, there's a van coming. When it's clear, bite and gas, gas and bite, steer. There is a signal to turn to the left. We move out into the road, mirroring again the car beside us to make sure we've got the room and making sure nothing's coming towards us. We look as far ahead as we can now, we can see that there's nothing coming towards us, so we stay out. End of the road, the sat nav is going to ask us to turn left. So turn we've gathered left. that information, we've heard what it's asked, so as we get a little bit closer, mirrors and signal, turn left, then we can see it's a blind left. junction, so the clutch is down. You can see the position of the car slightly to the left already. So we're creeping forward now just by using that clutch and a little bit of gas, making sure everything's okay in both directions. When we're happy it's safe, further turn the wheel to get us around the bend, and we continue go through the gears, new road, new mirror, we're going to turn be asked left, to turn left place. ahead, there's mirrors and signal, now we can see it's a tight bend, so we slow down, go into first, raising the clutch very slowly to come up to the biting point and beyond, so that the gears and the engine engage correctly, and then off we go, going through the gears again, doing all our checks again, mirrors, signal cancels, all of that. We can see that the lights are red ahead. We've also got a junction just before the lights. After 300 feet, so we're deciding right, from all the way back there, are we going to be able to get by the junction left, and stop at the lights? Road. Yes, we are. So we're planning as far back as maybe 20, 30 car lengths, even at this low speed. Make the car safe <clears throat> while we sit here. We make our observations, making sure that nothing's in and around us. We're looking for bicyclists down the inside of us, which is on the passenger side. We're looking for bicyclists and motorcyclists potentially coming down the driver's side. We're observing the road signs. We can see that we can't proceed straight ahead. As we were coming up to the lights, we would have seen that there's no left turn here as well. And if we look at the sat-nav anyway, it's showing us quite clearly what it, what it requires of us. And it's needing us to turn right at these lights. And while we're making these observations, <coughs> potentially if we can see the lights in the other direction, we can start making the car ready. There we go. Making our observations around us and off we go. Turn right, Change A4067. Normal lane, left. 
plan there, there for driving. You cut road. And we're already receiving information as to what we need to do at two or three car two or three lights ahead of us, sorry. So we're gonna stay in this After lane at present. Feet, bear left, then turn right. And we've got a red light and we're gonna start slowing down and we're gonna dip the clutch about two to three car lengths away. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to time, so as we make safe, the lights are just about to change. So first gear, a little bit of gas up to the bite, and then raise the clutch slowly. The lane segregates, as you can see, so we're going to keep to the left-hand side. Form the sights of football stadium. <clears throat> and as we get a little bit closer, start looking for the signs for St. Thomas now. Satnav isn't very clear here on what it intends us to do. So it's important that we continue running these test routes Turn over and right, over until we get used to what it's asking us to do. On, so we've got into the lane for St. Thomas, we've observed the lights and we know that we're not going to make the lights. <clears throat> so we start the controlled roll, make the car safe and relax. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as I'm looking further ahead now I can see an orange flashing light on a works vehicle. But he's moving with the traffic so it's not going to be a problem as we go around the corner. I'm looking further ahead again, which is off to my right and I can see the sign for St. Thomas. And it's the second sign away from the left hand side. Now I know the road system, I know that the left hand lane beside me goes all the way out to the left. And I know that this lane can potentially go into four different lanes as we straighten up. But I don't want to be too far to the right. I want to keep as far left as possible in this lane so that as we go around the corner we pick up the signs for St Thomas. So as we sit here we continue to observe around us looking for them bicyclists and motorcyclists and potentially pedestrians as well. the vehicle to move raising the clutch with a little bit of gas if we see the lines on the floor now we can see how the lines bring us straight in to lane go straight on Delhi Street we're going to come to a stop behind the works vehicle tires and tarmac as you can see leaving sufficient space should the vehicle in front break down and we need to get away from it or somebody rear ends us and doesn't push us into the vehicle in front we also make safe so we take the opportunity to relax and reflect and it is a safety aspect as well so the sat nav is asking us to continue straight ahead as you can see now our vision of the road signs is obscured by the larger vehicle in front so if we leave that vehicle move off slightly before us when it does start to move the road signs will open up to us again we continue making our observations around us lights have turned to green as you can see the vehicle starting to move and there's the road sign so we're going to continue following road signs for St Thomas now this lane splits again and you can see where the vehicles go around green is not our friend so we approach with caution stay into the left and as you can see the lights turn very quickly clutch in come to a brake check in your mirror and let's make the car safe now you can't see but there's a great big bus behind me and believe it or not while I'm sitting here now I'm just pressing the brakes and I can see the reflection of the brake lights so that's a good opportunity for me to check that my brake lights are working by using the bigger and larger vehicle behind that has a reflective surface <clears throat> you probably wouldn't think about that as a pupil so there's a little bit of help for you from an experienced old man. As we're sitting here, we're constantly aware of what's around us. I have in my time seen people sat at a set of lights like this. Somebody opens up the back door, grabs a briefcase and runs away. Happened in Dublin many, many years ago in Ireland. So make sure the vehicle is secure with you at all times. You can see the box section in front. If you pay attention to the cars coming from the left, you'll see that they're slowing down, making sure the, set, the box section is clear before they proceed into it. Now, unfortunately, you can't really see this, so I'm gonna widen up the angle. 
Can you see the lorry has stopped? I know the cars are queuing. We've got a light. Let's get ready. Moving off. Clutch. Little bit of gas. And off we go. We can leave the box section. No problem at all. So off we go. So we come into a 20 mile an hour zone. Just in front of us as you can see. Now we look at all the road markings. Road signs. 20 mile an After hour. You can see the giveaway signs on the floor and above. Street, so we need to road, come to a controlled right. stop. At the line. So let's creep and peep. Nice clutch control, making sure it's clear in both directions as we move. Continuing to check as we're crossing the junction. Change to second. Mirror in the cars, so we're away from it. We're being asked to turn left, left. there is a signal. At the end of the road, turn right. You can see the position of the car starting to turn. And we've got a park van around the corner, so it's very important as we're peeping and creeping this time that we check further into the road ahead. And there we go. You can see how slow I've come out of that junction. I've come to a stop here. There's a blue car, believe it or not, coming towards me. So I'm just sitting here with clutch control now, checking my mirrors, and then when it becomes safe again, I continue. It's very good, difficult to change gears on this type of hill. Turn right, Mackworth Terrace. Turning right, so mirrors and signal. Let's reach the line, keep the gas going as long as we can, clutch and brake for the line. Hold, go into first gear, bring up that handbrake. So again, this is all about clutch control. So a little bit of gas up to the bite, a little bit past the bite. Let's take the strain so the car doesn't roll. And now this is all about using the clutch, moving it up and down slowly while checking, back and forth, back and forth. Creeping up really slow as the car's turning, making sure it's clear in all directions. When we're happy, it's safe and we're straight, then we come off the clutch completely. New road, new mirrors. It's really, really important that you have control of the clutch. So there's no instruction, but we can see that it's going around a bend. It's a very sharp bend, so we slow right down into first gear. Have a look into the road, because the double park cars. So that when we turn, we know we're leaving room for cars coming towards us as well. Change to second gear. Sat is asking us to turn, turn left, left ahead to his mirrors. Street, then take the second right. Just as you can see the gap signal. Turn left. Really slow then again. Take the second right. First gear. No need to stop because we've got the right of way, as you can see, with the junction markings. Again, as you go around slowly, you've seen that we couldn't see properly with the parked van again. So we were ready to stop if necessary by covering the clutch and the brake. End of the road, we're going to go left, planning all the time turn as far right. as you can. Crescent, Ledger, Crescent, then turn left. <coughs> Control roll to the line, press the brake at or near the line. Can't quite see up the road fully because of the parked cars, so we're going to creep a little. There we can see there's nothing. We also had a zebra crossing on the left hand side. I don't know whether you've seen that as we came up to it. So we need to be mindful of the impact that that might have on cars coming towards us. If there was people crossing, potentially the car stops. If there was a car, therefore we would be okay to proceed while they're waiting for the pedestrians. Move turn around left, the parked cars, mirror in, you beside. Mirror is a signal and, and we're exit. turning left at the end of the road. Let's get here. Junction opens up, first gear, no need to stop. We could see because it was an open junction, but we slowed the vehicle down to give us opportunity to make our observations. We continue straight across. We can see by the, by the position of the car coming towards us and the speed that it's going straight ahead. So we need to be able to read what those vehicles are doing. No indicator usually means on a mini roundabout that the vehicle is going straight ahead. Keep an eye on it by all means, but look for those signals and understand what the highway code says in relation to mini roundabouts. So we're in a 20 mile an hour zone, so I'm doing about 18 mile an hour. <coughs> See the vehicle coming towards us, just ease off the gas a little bit, constantly planning. I'm wondering what that white car's doing. I'm also looking at the zebra crossing. 
way back. But I'm trying to get everything in you verbally to help you as much as possible. So every now and again, I'm continuing. That car has now come to a stop. So I went into first gear just in case he continued. I'm gonna say thank you. So you can see the bus is going through. The other car has stopped. Oh, and he's decided to change his mind. So now we're looking for a safe gap. So we're slowing right down. We've got a gap here. We move into the left. We say thank you regardless. Checking our mirrors, making sure it's safe. And then we move back out again, all under control. That was gear selection there, going through there. We selected first gear before we got to the gap. We went through in first gear with the clutch fully up while covering the brake and the clutch in case we needed to stop. <coughs> there the bus is indicated to come out. You've seen how I approached it nice and slow just in case it did suddenly indicate to come out because we do have to give way to buses. So our vanishing point now has been reduced dramatically because it's effectively the bus. So we're just going to build that up again, making sure that we're not too close to the bus. The bus is having to stop, so we're going to stop about here as well. You can't quite see that there's cars coming through the gap. So if we leave the bus go, we can see further ahead now. And if you continue to watch, you can see down the side of the bus and you can see whether there's cars coming. So there is a car parked just in front of the bus. So we're going to wait here now to leave that car through. Because otherwise, if we go into the same gap as the bus, it could be problematic further on. So we use the hill start technique that we've taught you. We move out. <coughs> the bus has gone way off now. And we can After see that there's no further traffic coming right, towards us. Road, so we're being asked to turn left. right ahead by the sat-nav. Very right, nasty bend the with a blind left. approach from the left. So mirrors and signal. We change the first gear about here. We get level with our turn. That kind of opens up the junction, still not fully. So as we turn, we continue to look left and continue that our junction is clear to us. We look into the road, we make sure that no cars are coming towards us. Again, double park cars on either side of the road. <coughs> we accelerate a little bit because we've come into a 30 mile an hour zone now. We've been asked to turn left here, there is a signal. Again, slowing right down first gear because of the turn. Park cars, we need to look into the road under control. So dip in the clutch a little, and then as we come around the bend, we can continue to raise the clutch again. While we're moving very, very slowly like this, At the and we're using the, the clutch in that right, manner, we're just the taking the power away the from the wheels. Right. Sometimes you require a little brake, sometimes you don't. It depends how you control the clutch, turning right at the end. Mirror is a signal. Right, Let's reach the end. The second right. Clutch in. You can see the cars rolling, and then brake for the line. Nice and gentle, progressive braking. We go into first gear. A little bit of a hill start again. A little bit of gas. Find the bite, and we're going to edge forward slowly. Now this is a very, very awkward junction. We can see to the left a little bit more clear now, using reflections on the cars to see whether something's coming because of the parked van and then we come off the clutch completely as we've got control and we've moved further out into the road. A little bit of brake. Let's get over the speed bump because we couldn't get over it with it going down the middle. Car came towards us, so we needed again a lot of Turn control right. there. Nice and slow. Use the pedals as you've been taught. Always re-evaluating, always planning, always thinking where we need to look, what we need to check, how do we need to control the car, all of those type of things. It's not just staring into blank space and then going, oh, oh, what do I need to do here? When do I need to do it? Yeah? Quite a few of you now, you've had excessive hours in cars, in the car, you should now start planning and making these decisions for yourself. For those that are just starting your journey or are halfway through it, you can see the level of concentration that's required through the talking and the commentary that I'm giving. So I can't take one bump, so I'm going to go over both of them. A little bit of brake, 
nice and slow or as slow as possible if you want to change down that's fine don't need to lose control of the vehicle and while you're slowing down you need to be checking the mirrors behind you as well after 200 feet <coughs> turn right we're terrace I'm then say thank at you. the end of the road turn we're right. Turn right here so it's mirrors and signal a little bit turn of break right, then clutch at in the end of the road, first gear while right. we negotiate the speed bump nothing coming towards us our exit is clear let's make the turn you can see how slow we're turn going right, then take mirrors the and signal left. again and we come to a stop now you can't see it but there is a car coming from our right they've just turned beside us the bus that you've seen is also still stopped so now we proceed into the road we look as far ahead as we can making sure let's get the clutch in nice and slow nice control using the brake down the hill after 900 feet turn left we're terrace then at the end of the road turn left tight and narrow so we go into first gear raising the clutch slowly and as you can see as we're around the bend there's a parked car and there's a car coming towards us and now there's a further car coming towards us that car's now stopped flash the lights check the mirrors checking to the side of us and then we move out using the mirroring technique again turn say thank you possible then turn left and then <coughs> turn left at the end again can't see yet it's a blind junction let's get to the line now we can see position we got fast moving traffic now coming from the right hand side so we're in a position ready to go cars are a good way off now new road new mirror and we continue to accelerate and go through the gears now we don't want to over accelerate because we're obviously thinking about the fuel efficiency aspect of the driving but we do need to make some type of progress. After half a mile, turn left, Baldwin's Crescent. If we can, we put the cruise control on at this time, if we've got it. And we're sitting at about 38, 39 mile an hour now. So our attention isn't any longer on our speed, because we've got the cruise control on. Or maybe a speed limiter if you've got one of them fitted and we can continue to concentrate on the road ahead. So in quarter of a mile we're being asked to leave the carriageway, we're being asked to leave the dual carriageway. So as we're getting a little bit closer, eight, 700 feet, 500 feet, we come off the cruise control, start slowing the car down, mirrors and signal, slowing a little bit more, change from appropriate gear, in this case it's third, off the brake, up the clutch, we can see the new speed limit as we've entered the road. Rumble strips further, further telling us to slow down. It's an industrial area now. Later on in the day, this is going to be very, very After busy with a lot of traffic feet, around it. So I'm sure you can imagine that we need to be fully aware of other road users, pedestrians and the likes, delivery vehicles, all of that. So we're going to change down into second. We're going to go nice and slow around here. Bear right. Let's have some control. Following the outside edge to keep us in the centre of the lane. This particular year, there's lots of lorries parked right here a little bit later on. 
see the Narwin from the right. After 600 feet, turn right, A483, Fabian Way. change back down to sec is a really sharp right hand bend and it's over a very very long period of time so we reduce the speed of the car Turn right. raising the clutch slowly can't see the lines so we kind of imagine where the lines are by following the outside edge and we're about to rejoin the carriageway so as we're coming up here now it looks like the road's going straight on, but it doesn't. If you start looking for the signs now, you can see that our signs are taking us naturally round to the left. That's not a giveaway line in front of us. It's an end edge of the carriageway, and it's the slip road. So we accelerate, checking our mirrors, get our indicator on. We're checking our mirrors. We need to try and get up to speed if we can. Use the slip road. Once we're up to speed, check your mirrors, making sure there's nothing beside you by looking through the glass on the driver's door, and you get out into the carriageway. New road, new mirrors. Again, once you're up to speed, just reapply the cruise control if you've got it. already the lights are on red, so the cruise control is off, we start the plan, we can see the brake lights coming on, we're checking our mirrors, we're braking a little, start braking a little bit more now as we're getting closer and then the clutch goes in and I put the clutch in then approximately four to five car lengths away because we were moving quite quickly. If we're moving slower I would obviously apply the clutch a little bit later on. But we don't want to put the clutch in too far away and we don't want to put the clutch in too late and we don't want to be pressing the brake too hard and we don't want to be pressing the brake too soft tires and tarmac mirrors checked lights have turned first gear a little bit of gas as you're raising the, the clutch and as the car starts to move hold the clutch there three two one more gas come off the clutch we're going to turn for the test turn centre left, now, turning left, left. Right mirrors and signal, and take the second off exit. the gas, leave the car do its own thing now as it goes around the bend, straight into the right hand lane, turning Good. right, right mirrors, signal, the don't turn Back too soon, do your checks, as you can see the van wasn't waiting for us, don't forget to reapply the signal, mirrors and checks, signal, checking there's no vehicles coming towards you, you can see the hazard ahead, no need to change to a higher gear yet, <clears throat> you can see the lorry now making the deliveries, it's a nice and slow on approach, check your mirrors, looking far ahead as you come into the road, now if somebody was to come now, they'd have to wait because you've already made the decision to proceed and you're in the gap, okay, if you see something before you get to the gap, clearly you need to give way to them. And here we are, we're coming it is back around left. now towards the test centre, braking and there changing left. to the appropriate then gears. <coughs> Following the outside edge, which in this case is the line, and as you can see it keeps us in the centre of the left. And there we go, we're going to pull up on the left, so it's mirrors and signal, moving into the side using your reference points. As you come on your reference point, pitch away a small bit and bring the car to a nice controlled stop. 